everybody, welcome back to Outnumber Barbecue. Today we're going to be making a whole hog style pork roast using this pork shoulder picnic. Now we're using the picnic cut because it still has the skin on. And this is the skin we're going to be crisping up at the end to make that authentic style whole hog barbecue. The only seasoning we'll be applying is this salt to the skin to help make it extra crispy. Now there's no real trimming that we're going to have to do. Once we get out to the smoker, we're going to apply this salt to the skin, get a good layer on top of it, and we'll be ready to go. Now to keep this as authentic as possible, we're going to be smoking with hickory wood today. Some of these wood splits are a little large, so I'm going to cut them a little smaller with my wood splitter. The link for this wood splitter is down below. We'll position this pork with the thick side closest towards the fire. Now the next step is to get a thick layer of salt on this skin. The salt is going to help protect the skin from the smoke that will turn the skin brown and also help draw out the moisture of the skin. Once it comes time to crisp up the skin, as dry as you can have it, the crispier you can get the skin. We'll be aiming to keep the temperature between 275 degrees and 300 degrees. We won't be wrapping with aluminum foil, so this cook will take about 7 to 8 hours. Now traditionally, whole hog is cooked in large pits over direct heat. Now we're going to be cooking offset today, so to replicate that direct heat, we're going to be adding some pork scraps I've had in the freezer. We're going to be adding a piece to the fire about every 30-45 minutes and this will give a nice direct heat flavor to the meat. Here we are about two hours into the cook and the meat already has a nice color. And here we are after four hours. While we're finishing cooking, let's go ahead and whip up a nice vinegar based sauce to go with the meat. We're going to add about one half cup of Pete's hot sauce, Texas Pete traditional to North Carolina style barbecue. To that we're going to add about one cup of apple cider vinegar. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. Probably a couple tablespoons of this meat church honey hog. a big pinch of black pepper. Give that a good shake and it's ready to go. 
almost eight hours in and we've hit 188 degrees. Let's take a look and see how this salt is done to protect that skin. That's exactly what you're looking for. The skin is nice and golden brown, but not too dark, and it's dry to the touch. The final step is to crisp up that skin on the back. I'm going to be using the Cowboy Grill feature of this Workhorse Pit 1975T. I'm going to move all the coals towards the end of the firebox and I'm just going to use one fire grate. That way if I get some flare ups in the fire I can move that fire grate back and forth and keep it from burning the pork. This won't take long, so keep a close eye on it. I'm keeping this in real time so you can see exactly how long it takes. Hey, if you haven't done it already, please hit that thumbs up button down below. Nice and crispy. Now let's separate this skin and get it all chopped up. Now that the skin's all chopped up, let's make some whole hog style sandwiches. I like to add some of the skin back into the meat for that crunchy texture. A little more skin on top. And then we'll add a drizzle of this mustard barbecue sauce. Let's give it a taste. Now that's about as authentic as you can get from home. Once again, everybody, thank you for watching. Please try this recipe. Let me know what you think down below. Please hit that subscribe button and we'll be seeing you.